we want to find the derivative for the given function. Notice how we do have a composite function where the outer function is the natural log function and the inner function is the product of the three inner functions. In this case, to find f prime of x, it'll be much easier to first expand the logarithm on the right using the log properties. We will begin with the product property of logarithms, which is natural log of the quantity x times y equals natural log x plus natural log y. Notice in our case, we have the natural log involving three products, where we have natural log of x to the eighth times the cube of x plus seven times the fifth power of two x cubed plus one, which means you can write f of x as f of x equals a natural log of x to the eighth plus natural log of the third power of x plus seven plus natural log of the fifth power of two x cubed plus one. And now we can continue expanding by using the power property of logarithms, which is a third property, natural log of x to the power of y equals y times natural log x. So we can move the exponent to the position of the coefficient, which means we can write f of x as f of x equals the natural log of x to the eighth is equal to eight times natural log x plus natural log of the cube of x plus seven is equal to three times the natural log of the quantity x plus seven plus natural log of the fifth power of the quantity two x cubed plus one is equal to five times natural log of the quantity two x cubed plus one. Now that we've expanded the natural log on the right, we can now more easily determine the derivative function. f prime of x is equal to the derivative of eight natural log x, which is equal to eight times the derivative of natural log x, which is one divided by x. Notice how because the inner function is just x, the chain rule is not needed. However, it's never wrong to apply the chain rule. Notice in this case, if we let u equal x, u prime is just one. And then we have plus the derivative of three natural log of the quantity x plus seven, which is equal to three times the derivative of natural log of the quantity x plus seven. Again, if we're not sure as to whether we need the chain rule, let's go ahead and apply it anyway. Notice here the inner function u is x plus seven. And again, notice here u prime is just equal to one, and therefore the chain rule is not needed. The derivative of natural log of the quantity x plus seven is just one divided by the quantity x plus seven. And then we have plus the derivative of five natural log of the quantity two x cubed plus one. Here we do need to apply the chain rule where the inner function u is two x cubed plus one. So we have plus the derivative of five natural log of the quantity two x cubed plus one, which is equal to five times the derivative of natural log of the quantity two x cubed plus one, which is equal to one divided by u times u prime, or one divided by the quantity two x cubed plus one, times u prime, where u prime is a derivative of two x cubed plus one, which is six x squared. Let's go ahead and simplify. We have f prime of x equals eight divided by x plus three divided by the quantity x plus seven plus, for the third product, the numerator is going to be five times six x squared, which is 30 x squared divided by the quantity two x cubed plus one. And we'll go ahead and leave the derivative function in this form. I hope you found this helpful.